Never ending monitor vortex. I got a new monitor. You want to see the old one? Yes, we actually discovered this specimen next to an ankylosaurus. But let's make a video, shall we? First and foremost, I'm gonna shave. Ah, oh, fresh. To start things off, this has kind of become a tradition around the White House, but President Barack Obama is set to honor the Pittsburgh Penguins on their Stanley Cup victory on September 10th at 6 p.m. Let's hope he does better than Bush did a few years ago with the wings. And I'd like to call up Steve Yazerman. But I just can't wait to see what he says. Now, Sidney Crosby uh, uh, has a lot of responsibility as the captain of the Pittsburgh Penguins. But immediately, he has the responsibility to never grow a playoff beard again. Seriously, though, it's hideous. Sid ES. I guess that could be a new nickname. No? Not really? Okay. And I know he shaved it, but the guy just turned 22. He's going to be in the playoffs a few more times before he calls it quits. Secondly, funny thing I saw today, I actually saw a guy with an Ottawa Senators logo tattooed to his calf. And it was fully colored in with black and gold and red and everything. Which is a real waste of ink to me, because he could have just got the Japanese symbol for choke. A tattoo is the ultimate no-trade clause. Turning a bit of focus to the Olympics, I want to talk about who didn't make the camp roster. Five of the NHL's top 30 scorers last season were Canadians that weren't invited to Canada's Olympic camp. Mark Savard at number 9, Mike Camilleri at number 13, Mike Ribeiro at 21, Ray Whitney at 23, believe it or not, and Todd White, of all people, tied for that last spot. Now, a question to all you hosers out there. Would you have invited any of these guys to Canada's Olympic camp? Because, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised Mark Savard wasn't on that list. Dexter Vidya response. And as the NHL season creeps closer and closer, what is the number one story going into the season for your team? Leafs fans, for example. The Leafs still have a billion defensemen. The at least one or two of which they need to get rid of. They have a whole bunch of young guns that are trying to make the team. Yuri Talusti, Tyler Bozak, and then there's the monster, Jonas Gustafsson, potentially taking Toskala's job as the number one goalie. At least that's what he says he's trying to do. And my personal question to you, now that school's starting up, have you ever skipped class to watch a game on TV or actually go to it? I actually skipped class this last year to watch the Leafs play the Ducks. You know that game where they used Cujo as the closer and it didn't, uh, didn't go well? I want your text and video responses. Peace, guys. Now hurry up. There's only a couple days left in summer. If you have any shenanigans that you still need to get done, I suggest you does it now. Yes, does it.